Well, since it's going to be a while before Road King and myself can get back together to work on this thing, uh, I thought I'd give you an update of what I'm doing to it in the off time. I've been working on the governor. You can see right there, I've got the uh, links in, which are these curved pieces right here. They're all pinned in, and it operates quite well. Pretty pleased with it. Just in case you uh, didn't quite catch the operation when we were describing it in the last video that uh, Road King put up, I'll show you. This piece here, let's see. This will ride in this groove here on the, I don't know what you want to call that. I guess I would call that a spindle. This piece of brass, it'll, this uh, C-shaped fork will ride in that groove and travel up and down with the piece of brass. However, it won't rotate with the piece of brass because the brass will rotate with the shaft. Like that. And what, we'll have, what this uh, fork will have is a rod that will come down from about here, travel down all the way to where the latch out will eventually be. But uh, I'll show you how the governor operates real quick. Just turning the engine by hand. You can see at a slow speed there's not enough centrifugal force to pull the spindle up. But if I speed it up a little bit, you can see it starts to raise there and eventually pull all the way up. Now you see there's a spring in here. There will be a uh, there'll be a collar up in this gap here with a set screw. You can, uh, by adjusting where the collar is, you can adjust the tension on the spring. And you can see there's no tension on it yet because there's no collar. But once it gets to a certain point, you can see the spring will start to compress. That will actually regulate the timing on when your uh, latch out for the exhaust valve releases and engages. Uh, this, is the, this is the correct way it will rotate here. Uh, let's see. Like right now, it's against the spring. It won't go any higher because I can't spin the engine any faster by hand. Now these are obviously the aluminum balls, the aluminum weights. We'll have to see once the engine gets running if they have enough mass to work the governor properly. I think they will. I'm actually surprised that they're able to lift this piece of brass even at the slow speed that I'm turning it at. I'm going to use the rod from the uh, this uh, fork is going to run down here. We need a piece, a piece of 3 16 uh, round stock and uh, through system of levers and things that that are in the uh, they're in the R&D process right now you could say. I'm actually going to be working on them today. Um, you saw before in the last video that there was a, a lever sitting right here. I'm going to do away with that I didn't like that design. Too much slop in the lever. So I'm going to make something new today. And uh, come back uh, once I've uh, made a little bit of progress. Well, I've done a little bit of thinking. And uh, here's the latch out right here. It's inside this block of aluminum. But. Uh, 
Here it is. Now the whole assembly is going to be really pretty much one unit with one with just a single lever coming out of it that'll be run off the governor. So we'll work on that this week. I got some other things to do today, but at least it's all designed. Of course, it's mostly all. <laughs> None of it's on paper, so I'm just gonna make sure I don't forget anything. That's it.